Hello everybody, it's your boy Skip the Legend bringing you guys another YouTube video and we are talking about Riot in their third quarter 2024 update. I'm excited to share this article with you guys or this document with you guys that is coming straightly or straight from Riot Blockchain. For those who are not familiar with Riot platforms, let me give you a brief little summary. They are a Bitcoin mining company and the biggest Bitcoin mining company in the world or that is publicly traded at least they are currently trading at twelve dollars and 81 cents and they are up over 50 percent for the last month with the recent movement of bitcoin with it now being a 60 percent increase and from year to date they are down 17 percent because they have been following the trend of Bitcoin and they also have their own financial reports to report where they have been reporting losses uh, and revenue and now we actually see them have some very good financial reports especially given what has happened recently I'm going to show you guys the stuff that is important. Riot Platforms is leading vertically integrated Bitcoin mining company now we go to the significant scale of operations and we see 85 million dollars in revenue that is good that is great for their industry especially when you look at how much bitcoin they have mined uh, for this quarter which is 1104 bitcoin and that equivalates to 12 bitcoin roughly 12 bitcoin that they mine a day what is the cost of mining a Bitcoin? It's around $35,376 divided by Bitcoin. And also the gross margin is 42%. With the cost of power being 3.1 C over K W H. I'm not familiar with that term or with that. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, and I'll have to do some more research on that before I actually speak on it in a video and share it for people to hear and retain. But just know that is the cost of power coming from the Q3 2024 uh, report that came from Riot Platforms. And they also have reported some strong financial and liquidity positions. $420 million in cash, 600 uh, with, or not with, of a $619 million uh, that they have in the liquidity. And what kind of, when we go to the Bitcoin held, they currently hold 10,427 Bitcoin. And the total capital is $1.28 billion. I have some really exciting news for you guys to see in this next part of the video which is how much not only how much bitcoin they've produced which is what we already talked about 1104 bitcoin and that is a consistent production from earlier this year to now despite the bitcoin having event which is supposed to hurt bitcoin miners <laughs> or it doesn't really hurt them they actually we get a reward or bitcoin miners get a reward but the hash rate that they you're able to mine Bitcoin at does drop significantly and they have been able to stay consistent. I think we can all say 1,104 Bitcoin compared to 1,106 Bitcoin is pretty consistent and they have not sold any Bitcoin either this quarter. Riot retained all Bitcoin produced in quarter three of 2024 along with that we saw a four percent increase um quarter over quarter for the bitcoin held per 1 million shares with it now being 31.4 bitcoin for every 1 million shares <laughs> that's a uh, hey, what can you say uh, I want to do the math real quickly to make sure that we know how much this means or how much this what this equivalates to. So right now we have 12 we have riot trading for 12.8 um, per share. Times that by a million and we have 12.8 million. Bitcoin is currently trading at $77,000 roughly 
Uh, so I'm going to clear that out. And I wish you guys could see this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, let's do 31.4 31 times 77,000. And that's $2.4 million. So $2.4 million divided by 12.8. And we have basically 18 point seventy five percent so eighteen point seventy five percent of the millions of shares uh, or every million shares bitcoin is we have that much bitcoin so that's pretty good <laughs> pretty good if you ask me especially the rest of these uh these statistics we see that the ending hash rate deployed twenty eight uh a second and that's a one hundred fifty nine percent increase over the year we also have four eight hundred forty eight million dollars in revenue which compared to last year and sixty seven point five um, million in self mining that is a twenty one percent increase the net income loss excuse me includes sixty million dollars or sixty uh, sixty million and DNA <laughs> DNA thirty 0.5 million in SBC and 24.3 million loss on derivative assets along with 8.6 million unrealized gain on Bitcoin held and 38 million loss on marketable equi equity securities held. These those metrics I am not DNA CSBC and yeah those two I am not the person to share a video breaking that down. I'm not that person. I do not have the capabilities of doing so. What I can do is continue doing research so that the next time they release a report, though, I am able to share that information. But if someone is familiar with it in the comment section, definitely do so. And don't be that guy that just Googles the definition and puts it down in the comment section down below. We can all do that. I want to make sure that we're actually sharing some knowledge that is fruitful and that is uh intentional for viewers and uh yeah for viewers we move on to the cost of power uh or we already talked about that we're going to move on from that because really what i want to talk about is the hash cost the hash cost has dropped down a good amount we have 26 uh phs per day um and that's compared to q3's 2024 average hash price being 45 phs a day so yeah 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 yeah. this is good stuff especially when we do a year over year comparison we look at the global network hash rate that has increased 59 percent we look at the ending hash rate deployed uh that has increased 159 percent bitcoin produced has stayed the same from year to year this is pre-having and post having as well and if you're not familiar the bitcoin having period happened in april of 2024 and they even note that there was uh despite a 50 percent increase in average global network uh hash rate and block subsidy subsidy um q3 bitcoin production was flat with q3 of 2023 and the total number of bitcoin held is now up 42% from 7,327 in Q3 of 2023 to a now 10,427 in Q3 of 2024. Keep in mind, these are unrealized gains because they're still holding the Bitcoin. If they did sell it, they would be taxed on it. So right now they're holding this Bitcoin and we don't know when they will sell the Bitcoin. They may not even sell all of it. They might sell a partial amount of it incrementally as bitcoin continues to go up but as of right now they have not sold any bitcoin keep that keep all these things in mind we now get to riot platforms and their we see quarterly what has been the case from q3 of 2023 to q3 of 2024 and the two one the two things i want to focus heavily on are is basically this triangle boom boom and boom the revenue 
in millions of dollars, by the way, uh, in the growth over the growth per month. We see that there was a great increase from Q3 to Q4. I don't know if you guys recall, but Bitcoin was experiencing a really good time at that time. <laughs> and that can that went into Q1 of 2024, but Q2 was a rough time for crypto. But Q3 kind of shined and it shows through the chart or it shows through these metrics. We saw a 52% increase to a 1% increase to the next quarter, a 12% decrease going into the next quarter. And now going into this quarter, it was a 21% increase in revenue over growth, growth per quarter. For the gross profit over gross margin, we see a 73, we see a, I was about to say a 73% decrease. That was not going to be true. Uh, my apologies. But we do see a drop. We go from 37.7 uh, to 20.4. Then we go back up to a 37.3, 30.3, and 24.3. And when we get to the net income, Net income hit a high in quarter one of 2024, and right now it is uh in Q3 of 2024, 15 uh 154.4. And I want to do more research before I say this is a down. This is down versus this is up. Really, because I don't see a negative. I see parentheses, but I don't see a negative. And I want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly, especially with them talking about earnings per, sh earnings per share and things of that nature. We go to this page and some of the stuff we've already learned, but these two bottom slide or, or bottom rows, we have not. We have not touched on in this document reading. As we look at it, though, we see that the cost of mining was at 22,000 or 23,000 roughly in Q3 of 2023. But in Q4 of 2023, it was at 13,000. And in Q1, it was 23,000. So we saw an increase and we saw a small increase in going into Q2. But in Q3, we saw 25,000 go up to 35,000 for, uh, uh, yeah, for Q3. Which makes sense, especially when you compare the amount of Bitcoin that we mined or that Riot mined. I am not working for Riot, so I don't know why I keep saying we, but I think I, I'm pretty sure I say it just so I can be connected with the viewers. The number of Bitcoin, uh, the number of Bitcoin produced in Q3 was 1,106, right? We know that number. But in Q4, it was 1.6 Bitcoin mined. In Q1, it was 1.4K um, Bitcoin mine. I should have said the K earlier. Uh, it was 1.6K in Q4 2023. In Q1 of 2024, it was 1.4K roughly. In Q2, it was a sharp drop to 800, 844 Bitcoin to a big sharp increase of 1,104. Now, I believe this comes from the actual cost, and we can go to this next slide because that's when we actually understand what is it that affects the cost of mining the Bitcoin. Non-power includes, or they talked they talked about on this slide, non-power expenses, right? Um, and some of the other expenses. The direct cost, there's the non-power, um, which includes direct labor minor insurance, minor and minor related equipment repair, land lease and related property taxes, network costs, and other utility expenses. So one can guesstimate, infer, or evaluate from there what led to the costs or what, yeah, what led to the drop in production of Bitcoin earlier this year. But you can't deny that 844 Bitcoin mine versus 1,104 Bitcoin mine is awesome, especially what when it's a 200, 300 Bitcoin difference. And I want to make sure I'm saying this correctly. Uh, 300 Bitcoin times 77, uh, and I was almost about to do the math wrong. It's yeah, times 77,000 is. 223 million dollars 
that's a big difference. That's a big difference. I think the direct cost was worth it. But I'm going to stop the video here. Um, and we can go. I want to go over this document some more before I go over the next part. Because the next part includes some ge geographical um, aspects like Texas and some acquisitions they's, they've also made. But I've already given you guys a lot of information in this one video. And I want to make sure that you guys are actually interested in the video and the content that I'm sharing with you guys before I go too much deeper into Riot and the things that they're doing. Because I could easily just talk about all these things in a video where I'm talking about the price and how they have moved and the insider trading and just throw in some information from the Q3 report here and there. But I still feel like this video gave you guys a good understanding and a good glimpse at some of the key things that this document speaks on, especially the fleet. And that's what I want to close out on. Riot's fleet continues to improve in fit efficiency. As you can see, the current fleet efficiency is at uh, 23 JTHs. I got to do more research, okay? So let that be known. I got to do more research before I start telling you guys what these different, um, with these, uh, oh, there's a word for them, and I can't remember. I need to go back to math class. Uh, but what these different variables mean. I think it's variables, but there's a word, there's a different word I was looking for. This, these charts are great. Make sure you're reading these summaries because these summaries can help you add context. Riot's purchase order of up to 131,000 micro BT miners have an in uh, have an average fleet efficiency of 18.5. Riot has received a lot of 89,000 uh, miners from this order to date, and all of these miners are currently energized with the remaining. Uh, balance of 41,902 miners to be received and deployed through the end of 2024. Riot's total fleet efficiency will be 20.3 JTHs, J over 8 TH in 2025 after the current planned deployment of orders and the total fleet efficiency of J over TH if entire option is exercised. Thank you guys for watching this video though. As I stated, it is the, I am the Scripted Legend and I am signing out. Y'all have a blessed one and stay safe. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video with a friend, by the way. I forgot to say that. Peace.